Oh yeah. I don't even have to tell you what day it is, do I? Y'all know what day it is already. I don't even have to tell you anymore. If y'all been watching my channel as long as I've been out, shoot, I don't even have to tell you. If you don't know what day it is, it's still summer. I know that. I mean, we only got a couple weeks left before the end of summer. And that's really, if you want to get technical, the 21st. Because the first day of fall is the 22nd. So I've got maybe a couple weeks to... Well, three more recipes, summer type vape recipes, is what I'm gonna put out. I got three of them, okay. And my flavors didn't come in today. I'm a little upset, so I had to change which recipe I'm doing today. But in a way, it turned out good because last week I did the uh, watermelon Jolly Rancher, okay. And I didn't, I felt like I didn't want to do another watermelon vape, which is one I got coming up next week now. Instead of the uh, uh, Summer Breeze, I ran out of one of my flavorings. I ran out of one of my watermelons. So, in a way, this is a good thing because it's not another watermelon vape. This one is really, really good. I've been vaping the hell out of it, and uh, I, I don't even have anything to vape on. I mean, I'm out of it, I, so... And I can't make any more of it. And it was really good. And this one right here that I'm fixing to show you is really, really good too. And I don't have, I've done vaped it all up. Uh, and another reason in part I wanted to get into a little bit later in this video is nicotine. And all my e-juices and testers that you see behind me here, I got them pour them all out every single one of them and that's because of the nicotine and i'll explain that a little bit later okay but right now we're gonna do one called simply summer i mean it's just up in your face just so daggone good y'all gonna love this one so let's drop down and get with busy with this one you know because it's real Good vape. Turn the light on. There we go. Get our scale out. All right. Come on, baby. Let's get some bottle out. Simply Summer. This is a strawberry peach uh, e juice that will blow your mind. <laughs> Alright, I got a couple new flavors that some of you new people out there don't know too much about and everything. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you use them and what they're used for. Okay. Now, this recipe is, I guess you would say, an advanced recipe, but it's really not. I mean, anybody with these flavors can mix it up. You know, you just got to have all the right flavors. You can't really substitute on these flavors because if you substitute, then you're going to take this e-juice into a whole different type of flavor, okay? So you can't sub none of these out. These got to be exactly what I'm telling you, okay? All right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ingredients in this recipe, okay? If you take the sweetener out, it would be eight ingredients, all right okay first up we got a flavor called apricot from flavor art okay apricot from flavor art this one oh we're doing a 70 30 mix this time okay because i'm vaping it in some other tanks and it's starting we got a, a cold front to come through and i just wanted to thin out the e-juice so the cotton will suck it up even quicker and everything but uh Apricot, we're only going to use it at a half a percent, okay? And I'll explain what this apricot does to this vape later on with another ingredient that goes in it, okay? The apricot is just to lift up another flavor, okay? Basically, and make it hang around a little longer. So, let's check this stuff up, man. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. Half a percent. We're doing a 15 mil bottle. So, it'd be 0 0.08. 
on the scale. It's only going to be a couple of drops in the 15 mil. Three or four drops, maybe. There we go. Good enough. There goes the apricot. Oh, yeah. We starting something good. Watch out. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here's where it gets interesting. Juicy orange from Capella. Oh, yeah. Some orange, buddy. Now, check this out. We're only going to use this at a half a percent as well. Okay. So, it doesn't take much of this little orange because you don't want the orange to overpower this recipe. You just want this orange to sit real far in the back and you'll just get a little hint of orange in your taste buds. Okay. So, half a percent be 0 0.08. So, it's only going to be a couple of drops in a 15 mil. There we go. All right. Our juicy orange. Tear out your scale. Next up, we have marzipan from Flavor Art. This is almond paste flavor, okay? But if you use it at a very small percentage, which I'm using it at 0.15%, it's only going to be a, like one drop, and that's it in a 15 mil bottle. What it's doing, it's lifting up all your fruits and berries that you're fixing to see in the recipe and brightens them up. Okay. Now, marzipan, like I said, 0.15%. So that's only 0 0.02. So I'm just going to put one drop in there. Boom, one drop. And that's it. I'm not even going to, I don't care if it shows up on the scale or not. Okay. I know one drop's in there. And one drop is right around 0 0.02. But I know it's in there, and that's all you need, okay? All right, so just go ahead and hit tear just to be on the safe side. Next up, we got Passion Fruit from Flavor Art. Now, this one right here, this is what gives it that sit back, relax type of bake, just so daggone good. We're only using this at 1%, and that's it. So that'd be 0 0.16 grams. Had that cold front come through down here in Alabama. Man, it's been getting like about 50 degrees outside at night time now. Tear your scale out. Next up, we got Red Touch Strawberry from Flavor Art. We're using this at 3%, okay? So 3% would be 0.47 grams. Almost there. There we go. All right. There's Red Touch Strawberry. Next up, we got Sweet Strawberry from Capella. Okay. Sweet Strawberry, we're using it at 4%. So that's going to be 0.6 grams. Okay. In a 15 mil bottle now. Oop, went over just a little bit, didn't I? That gone. Oops. <laughs> That's what I got to say about it. <laughs> Next up, we got sweet tangerine. Now, here's the other part of the orange, okay? We're putting two oranges together. Both of them are at half a percent. So this one's only going to be at half a percent as well. So really, you think about it, you only got one percent of orange flavor in this. But it's just enough to where you can taste it and it really enhances this recipe, okay? So that'd be 0 0.07 grams at a half a percent. So it's only going to be a couple of drops again. I 
That's close enough. Even though I'm one tenth shy, that's still good enough for me. All right, sweetener. We're going to use it at a half a percent, so that's 0 0.08. Just a couple of drops. Good enough. And last but not least, the star of the show, one of my favorite freaking flavors. I swear I love this peach. This peach rocks. White peach from Flavor Art. Oh, man. This, we're using it at 2%. <laughs> so it'd be 0 0.31 grams. Right there. All right. Tear your scale out. Now you notice I'm not using this bottle anymore. Nope, I'm not going to use this nicotine anymore. I got a new nicotine I got in. Okay, and I'm keeping it in a 15 milliliter bottle. That way there's less air and I go, you know, it won't oxidize as quick. Okay. So I'm changing my bottle up. I'm not going to use that 30 no more. I'm actually going to throw that whole bottle away. And I'll explain here in a minute. Nicotine, I'm at 1 milligram strength. So that would be 0.16 grams. Good enough. Alright, take your scale out. PG, I'm doing a 70-30. So I need 2.61 grams. A little bit over, that's all right. It don't matter, people. And except for nicotine, for real. You got to be precise on that. And this one, I'm just going to stick my bottle in there and fill it up to about right there. She goes for a 15 mil bottle. All right, where's my cap and stuff? Oh, yeah. There we go. That's more like it. Oh yeah, shake that stuff up now. Need some good eye contact for you. Mm -hmm. Shake the hell out of it, people. Turn your scale off. Move this out of the way. Oh yeah. It's a good one, man. Simply summer. Strawberry, peach, little orange, passion fruit. See, now what I was going to explain earlier, that apricot, what it's doing is the white peach after about two weeks, the strawberries and the passion fruit kind of seem to want to overpower it, okay? The apricot lifts that peach up and makes it stick around longer and keeps its strength, okay? So the apricot's lifting up that peach and giving it a more different depth of flavor. Let me get that off of there. Let me stick this stuff up and try it. Oh yeah, try it hell. I already baked the hell out of it. I baked it so much, man. Just went through 60 mils of this stuff. Hell yeah. See, right off the bat, see, this is like a shake and bake. Right off the bat, you can hit this and you'll taste that up front peach right up front, right up in your face. And then after a little bit, you'll start tasting the strawberry and the passion fruit blends real nice together. And then after everything's all gone, I mean, just sitting there, all of a sudden you start getting an orange note. It just, uh, dang, that tastes so freaking good. 
y'all gonna like that one. That's so damn good. I got two more summer recipes, and then it's time to get into all the creams and the custards and the pies. Oh my, hell yeah, it's on. I love my creamy babes. Can't wait. I got some good ones in the workings right now already as we speak. I can't wait to get back to my creams. That's my favorite vapes are creams and pies and custards and cakes and ooh, I got some good ones this year. But I hope y'all like that. Uh, the link to this video uh, recipe will be right below the video as usual. Uh, the link to Bull City Flavors where I can get all my flavorings will be right below this video as well. Uh, I got a little PayPal me account if you'd like to donate and help me uh, get the flavors to come up with these good recipes for you guys and tell you a little bit about each flavor and everything. Also, I wanted to show you uh, two flavors, that new flavors I got that are really, really good, okay? Uh, I got strawberry from Real Flavors, okay? And this one... For a single flavor, good, good, fresh strawberry, like you just go to the grocery store and get the carton of strawberries, fresh strawberry. I'm telling you, this one. And it, it if your straw, if your vape, you got a strawberry vape that your strawberry seems to be fading a little bit and losing its uh, flavor. Put like 1% of this strawberry in there and it'll lift up them daggone strawberries and it'll stay there. And it's a good one. At 2.5% of this strawberry is just an all-day vape. Beautiful strawberry flavor. Uh, but you've got to give it at least 3 to 5 days steep on this. Because... Real Flavors makes their uh, concentrates with alcohol and not PG. Okay, so you've got to let these steep. All right. Now, but this one's really, really good. Okay. Now, the other one is that Real Flavors uh, Black Raspberry. Okay. Now, this one is just badass too. I'm telling you, it's like a uh, a sweet blackberry uh, with a little bit of tart to it. But it's more that more it's more of a sweeter strawberry. I mean, a uh, blackberry with the raspberry having the tart note to it, and it's it's just like if you took a uh, Flavor Arts Blackberry, the one that has the floral note, after like seven to ten days steep on that Blackberry, you lose that floral note, it disappears, and you've got one of the best tasting raspberries out there. It's like you took that raspberry, I mean Blackberry, and put it in here and mixed it with Flavor Arts Raspberry. That's what this tastes like. Seriously, it, it, but it's really, really good, and I used it at 4% all by itself, and it kicks ass too. So those are two new good flavors that are really, really good. Go out and try them, uh, and I, I was, if you want to hang around, uh, this is where I'm going to talk about the nicotine if you want to hang around, or you can just go, you know, about your business, but I... For the last two years, I've been buying nicotine, my nicotine from this one company, and I'm not going to say no names, okay, except for the new nicotine that I just got, because I'm going to try it out. Now, I've never had any problems with my nicotine at all, as long as I've been mixing, over two years, I've, not, I've never had a problem with my nicotine, ever. Now... This now you got to think about this. All you new people out there, you new mixers, uh, when you start uh, mixing, you got to have some decent nicotine, some clean nicotine. And everybody will tell you either go to Nicotine River or you go to uh, Liquid Barn. 
is another good one. And there's another one I still can't think of the name of it right offhand. Uh, uh, let's see. My Freedom Smokes sells nicotine. Uh, I can't. There's so there's a few companies out there, but anyway, I'm getting off the point. I went ahead and I got Liquid Barnes nicotine, and I only got a 125 milliliter bottle of it. Okay. Now the reason why I only get a 125 milliliter bottle is because it takes me. Let, let me put it this way: 125 milliliters. I got. I bought. November of last year, okay, and it's lasted me that long, and this was the last bit of it, you can tell it's starting to turn that yellow color, and you know, in this 30 mil bottle, look at all the air, and every time you use it, air gets up in there, you know, I kept it in the freezer the whole time, the only time I pulled it out is I put 15 mils in this 30 mil bottle, which, you know, I, anyway, I'm learning now, I just got stay with the 15 mil bottle, because you don't, you don't, you, you're just dropping it in your bottle, okay, now, this last bit of nicotine went bad on me, and gave me one of the worst pepper tastes I have ever taken, and I mean, it ruined every single one of my testers now. You can taste so peppery, you can't even vape it. I can't. Uh, so, see ya. That one's gone. <laughs> so, I'm sticking with uh, Liquid Barn Nicotine and 125 milligram, 100 uh, milligram nicotine strength all PG uh, and we're going to see how it does and I can already tell you know I don't taste no pepper taste now on this new new liquid so but just you know you got to make sure you got some clean nicotine or it will mess up your your e juices quick so just a little tricks there you know try to keep don't open your lid as often, you know, as much. Keep it in the freezer to make it last longer. So it almost lasted me a year, that other bottle I had. Till that last little bit there, man, it just messed up. So, but anyway, I hope y'all like that uh, recipe. I hope y'all enjoy that recipe. Subscribe to Hippie Vapes Group on YouTube. I mean, Facebook also. Uh, Hippie Vapes Group on Facebook for sure. A lot of fun going on in there. Till the next time. Hope y'all have a good one. Only a couple more weeks of summer. So let's get out there and have some fun. The cool weather's starting to hit in. It's time to cook out and start some bonfires. Oh yeah. And get with them custards, man. Later on, I can't wait. Till next time, I'll see y'all next Friday. Peace, love, and harmony, everybody. Later, y'all.